I feel happy. I feel like the world is my oyster. TikTok literally tells you exactly how to go viral, and so many people are not. Yeah, like you said about like six. Third graders are calling me fat? Yeah. They're saying I'm fat, me. They heard me. everybody and welcome to another weekly vlog good morning it's tuesday it is 11 a.m in the morning your girl got up at like what like eight o'clock rotted in the bed for an hour i was supposed to go to the dentist at 11 o'clock but they rescheduled my appointment so we've got a free morning um i'm just about to edit a quick video answer some emails get myself situated for the day uh we went for a walk got a matcha i don't have any milk in the house so and i leave again on Sunday so it's really no point in me like stocking up the kitchen just situating what we're doing for the one phone go the other phone go Jesus Lord have mercy y'all know I got two phones one for the plug and one for the just kidding this is my personal telephone and this is my work phone anyways yeah so answering these emails gonna edit this video up, edit this life update video really quick by the time y'all see this vlog y'all already know what's tea so so yeah and then we might hang out with some friends later i don't know yet how, what the day is gonna bring but this is what's going on so i'm about to uh get this video edited and then we'll reconnect and see what's going on for the day hey y'all it's a whole lot of time later we finna go get our nails done. I would show y'all the outfit, but I look a mess. I just washed my hair and I didn't have time to like really do it or anything. Like this not even supposed to, I look crazy. I don't even have no earrings on, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I gotta go get my nails done, okay, bye. Oh, I'm not kidding. I actually think this is probably the worst I've ever, okay, let me not say the worst I've ever been out of my house looking, but like it's, it's, it's up there. It's, it's giving top, top three, maybe top two, and it ain't two. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, it's so much traffic. <sighs> Let me get in here. I'm so late. Hi, Taylor. Because my nails are pumped. <laughs> She's going to get us together, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is, these, this is the set we're doing. Hope y'all can see it. Oh, we're doing my nails, y'all, and I went shorter, like, Y'all know I've been wearing my nails really, really long for like the past, a year. yeah, year, like really long. We're going teeny tiny, short, short, baby. I'm gonna show y'all. See the length on those? Itty bitty. Look at my thumb. Hopefully it doesn't give gremlin. It's cute. It's really elegant. Elegant. It is. is that what you said? <gasps> yeah, cute. that's what I'm gonna give. Okay. Cause the rest of me is not giving that right now. Oh my God. Y'all look at how beautiful the nails turned out. We went short and they're so pretty. This is the other hand. Taylor did that 
Now we're gonna go get dinner. Show y'all my nails. Now me, Taylor, and T are gonna go get some Korean barbecue and have dinner, cause we don't know when we're gonna get to hang out again. So um, yeah, and I went way shorter with my nails. <gasps> don't know how I feel about it. I love like how easier everything is, but not sure if it's gonna be my vibe. I put all my hair up because I just am looking, I look crazy. Um, I'm getting gas, by the way, because I had like 10 miles to eat. So I was like, mm, if we're gonna go anywhere, definitely need to get some gas. We're going to this place called 9292 Korean barbecue, but they have like some of the best Korean barbecue. It's just a bit of a distance if you're in the city. Hey, hi. They done already ordered wine. I just got here. Oh, they've ordered everything. You want to order? Say. No. Yeah. yeah, just no, no, no. Order the meat that you like. No, because you don't like bulgogi. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you. We always let so Taylor so order everywhere we eat. The so for the sides, what is this? This is pickled rad. No, I thought this. The oh, pink. Is yeah, this is um. Pickled onion and jalapeno. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is tofu. And then this is kimchi. Those are peanuts, right? Yeah. And then onions, more pickled onions. This is my favorite. And a salad. I don't know what this is. Just onion with um, more onion spicy. Sauce. Onion with spicy sauce, <laughs> corn, and then pickled radish, and then the cheese, mushrooms, and then they're gonna, is that the bean sprouts? Yeah, oh, yeah. bean sprouts, yeah. and they're gonna do eggs. Yeah. Cheers! <laughs> so this is soybean soup. I've never had this when I've gotten Korean barbecue. So, um, I don't need this whole thing on my own. We need to like split this. You don't yeah. to finish it. Yeah. This, is, this is what dinner with Taylor is like. Like I let her order and she orders everything. This is our favorite. So what is this? Prime rib? Yeah. Okay, so this is prime rib. And then what's this? Marinated short rib. Marinated yeah, short marinated rib. Beef, uh, beef short rib. What's crazy is I've never gotten any of these. I get like the cheat meat, clearly. You know what it is? It's because I do the all you can eat. Oh, and then they got bulgogi for me, which was not necessary. Look at this view. <laughs> so the prime rib is on the grill. The soup is really good. Um, I'm gonna try it with rice, like Taylor's doing. <laughs> Yum. Be careful, it's hot. Okay, so the rice <laughs> and the soup. Oh, look how pretty my nails look. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Oh, it's really so good. Okay, so Taylor gave me rock salt, and she put it in her bowl. I'm just doing everything she's doing. I feel like I've never had Korean barbecue before right now. What do you want? Cheers. Yeah, cheers. That's good. You did it with a sauce? Yeah, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. back with the, the Thank you. So these are cold noodles. So I don't know what that means, but these are cold noodles. Is this an egg? Now Taylor, is it wet? No, it's cooked. Oh, okay. You know I don't like runny eggs. No, it's not boiling. Cool, cool, cool. But the so, noodle is cold, so like okay. I'm shocked. <laughs> it's it like is a, cold. Um, it's cold and like salad. It's supposed to like cut. Oh. <laughs> cut through the flavor. <laughs> cut through the flavor of this with this. Let's so do you it. add any of this to yeah. it? I'm not looking to bring the spicy. Sauce. Okay, okay. Okay, so Taylor put in the spicy sauce, mustard, and vinegar. Yeah into the cold noodles. Okay, so we're gonna try the noodles. I don't think I'm that skilled with my chopsticks. <laughs> okay, you know the cold, that seems like you're not gonna like it. Fire! I can see why someone wouldn't like this though, the texture. Like, if you're a texture person, you might think these are too fine. But I like them. This is the scallion pancake. Oh, sorry. No, get it. No, get it. 
Taylor's going for it. I don't know if I can pick mine up with chopsticks. I don't know if I'm that good. There you go. Yay. Is it good? Oh, Taylor's like, hell yeah. Hold on. That's fire. That's fire. You know what's crazy? I never get the pancakes. That is so good. It's supposed to be the food that you got at the bar. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> so y'all, this is the marinated short rib. And they're telling me that when I have this, I will never go back to bulgogi. If you're like an entry level K barbecue <laughs> person, then you know bulgogi is your go-to. They're saying this, 10 times better. So excited to try. Oh, you do one big bite. Oh, okay. Let me tell you something. The the marinated um, a short rib, this, they're right. You really will not eat bulgogi again. Like this is like a much better, like refined version. I'm in love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it on its own. What? You done dug in. But we left. <laughs> we left Korean barbecue and got dessert at this place called. I did take a picture. I'll insert it. Two Haws Cafe. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so. Two Haws Cafe. And I got the apple cinnamon croffle. They got the strawberries and cream. Is that what it is? Nutella. Nutella. Nutella strawberry. But it's Both butter are sauce on fire. The I love <laughs> croffles, and I didn't even know we had this in Atlanta. It's way out in Duluth, but I'm telling you, fire. And there's a bunch of karaoke bars and stuff over here too. So like, just make a day out of so it. So just finished my little dinner or food date with Taylor and T, y'all such a good time i haven't gone to dinner and hung out with taylor and t in forever we were so overdue taylor's birthday and t's birthday passed we didn't get to go out for their birthdays my birthday's coming up so we just were like today's the day like i'm gonna come get my nails done late and then we're gonna go get food together so um we went to korean barbecue at uh 9292 Everything we went to is like out in Duluth. We went to the cafe that I told y'all about. And the dessert, <gasps> I had a crawfle for the first time ever in London. And I was like, this is the best thing in the world. If you don't know what a crawfle is, it's a croissant meets a waffle. And I know what you're thinking, like, girl, what the hell? Delicious. The texture, it, it's probably one of the best desserts you're ever going to have in your life delicious and dang i gotta turn right and i didn't even know we like had it here granted i didn't really like look that hard but i've never heard anybody talk about a crawfle like ever in my life until i went to london so anywho y'all great dinner day taylor is like a, a true foodie like if you want someone to tell you where there's good food hit up my girl taylor she's gonna get you right taylor knows what's going on over there Oh, hell no. Taylor knows all the tea when it comes to food, okay? I mean, food, nails. Taylor knows just all the tea, okay? So, yeah, we're going to go home and do our skincare together. I have some products that I recently started using from Rode that I want to talk about because they're, like, a fire fire. Some of them. Well, most of them. And then we'll, like, get into some skin talk and stuff. So, anywho, that's what we're doing. I'll talk to y'all once we get home so I can, like, focus on the road because we got a little bit of a drive. So... All right, y'all, we are back home. Lighting is a little wonky, sorry, y'all. We're gonna do our skincare really quick because I wanna show you guys these products that I got from Broad. And I'm actually like so shocked at how much I like them. So I'm gonna be starting with the Pineapple Refresh Cleanser. Looks like this. I think I talked about this in my last vlog, actually. Skin flared up again today. Right there, I got another like cystic bump and then I have a bunch of whiteheads on my chin that popped up today not too sure what's triggered that just gonna keep being patient i'm still not using any actives just using super hydrating products um like the products i'm using right now plus like my tatcha products um belief those are all products that like work really well on my skin my clean skin club towel Y'all know I love these. Um, so you can see like right there, that came up. And there's a couple of white heads and yes, I'm gonna pop them. I know you're not supposed to, but 
I just can't help it, so I might as well do it when my face is clean. Um, I'm gonna go with this Tower 28 SOS spray. This is supposed to be really helpful for inflamed breakouts, allegedly. Like, it's supposed to help keep acne away. This is supposed to be like an antibacterial spray, I think. We'll see, child. But anyways, y'all, I'm getting ready for bed. Here's another look at my nails. Hopefully y'all can see them. So pretty. It literally looks like a jewelry on my nails. So, love them. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for bed, y'all. It's pretty late, it's almost midnight, and I have to get up really early in the morning. We got a long day tomorrow, girl, so. Good morning, y'all. It is, oh my God. I'm just looking crazy this whole vlog. Don't worry, we're gonna do this hair. Oh, I can't even, I can't even. Um, today is Tuesday, Wednesday, the 22nd. Um, it's almost 9 a.m. I have a contractor coming to look at my cabinets, y'all. And another contractor, if you watched in the last vlog, then you seen Home Depot came. So now we have another company coming because Home Depot was like, oh yeah, you gotta, we gonna replace all these cabinets. It is gonna cost you 20 grand. I said, why? I just want them painted. You do not, there's, they do not need to be completely reconstructed. So we got another contractor coming in. So she should be here shortly. All right, y'all, it's a little bit later. Look at my hair. So I didn't vlog when the, the contractor came, but she came in here and said, there's gonna be at least $25,000. And she wouldn't even talk about replacing the cabinets. She said, oh yeah, just first to refinish and do the front, 25 grand. I said, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Anyways, I got my matcha, by the way, I made this this morning. Um, actually almost noon, y'all, because after hearing this news, I needed to go lay down. Like that was just, it was just too much for me. She, she we had a little conversation and she, she hooked me up is what I, all I'm gonna say is she gave me a contact. Um, and we'll see what comes of that. So anywho, um, I don't know what's going on with the con with the with the with the cabinets, y'all. So now back to my hair. So yesterday I washed my hair and I didn't put no product in it, and then I let it like dry in this weird way. So like, cause I had to re put some of my tapes in, cause I have been wearing my hair up in like updos, but I want to wear my hair down today. So I re put my tapes in, but now the cut is off. There's like no layers, so I have to cut it. And then like, look, like my hair is all like just straight because I had it pulled. So my hair's like all stretched. I don't even know if I got enough tapes in here to fill in my gaps. I think I'm gonna cut the hair shorter. I think I'm gonna take like that much off so it's more like a bob and then put some layers in it. I don't really want to cut it that much shorter. But the back, there's like, it's, there's no layers in the back of my head. Did, am I missing some tapes from over here? What's going on? You see, I was just like long in my hair. That ain't supposed to be like that. Oh, child. I really want to wear my hair down today. Um, me and Kyra are going to go get, it's not even going to be lunch because we're going at five. So we'll call it like a little early supper, uh, early dinner, late lunch. I look nuts. So yeah, that's what's tea on the day. I have some work I need to do in between time. Um, so we're going to be doing that as well. I can't get over my nails like stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. I don't know if I like the length because y'all know I've been wearing my nails real long and they're so short. I don't know, but like I like like it's easy for me to like do stuff and I like that but I don't know if I like the length anyways I also wanted to tell you all I got a new toothbrush let me tell you something this toothbrush right here this is the Oral B I O fifth generation I think look I thought toothbrushes were toothbrushes I had well of course an electric toothbrush is always better I had an electric toothbrush but I didn't realize this every little individual little thingy thing moves this feels like when you go to the dentist and they clean your teeth this is my first time using it this morning. I ordered it yesterday on Amazon. That toothbrush, <laughs> anywho. So I just, I don't know why I wanted to share my toothbrush with y'all, but yeah. We actually go to the dentist tomorrow. I was supposed to go yesterday, but they canceled my appointment because they had, um, they said they had like electrical issues or something. So let's do something with this hair. I don't even really know where to start. I feel like I want to start cutting first. I need to go get my vacuum cleaner because it's going to get messy. I got some scissors. I think I am gonna bring the length up like just a bit. 
like just a teeny 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 tiny weeny weeny bit and it's hard because it's curly and it's not really like done okay I think I'm gonna just cut like right across here above my finger length gone on that side now you do this side You know, I probably should have detangled my hair because I ain't even comb my hair out. It'll be fine. It'll, oh, it'll be fine. Okay. Now, let's, um, let's work in the back and work our way forward. No, let's work in the front. So the front got to come up. Like, my hair is to here. So I need to cut the front layers around that area. I think I'm gonna start putting water in it. The only issue, I think I'm gonna go section by section because I don't have a spray bottle. So start right under here. Let me get my Denman brush and we are gonna go to town. Okay, so boom, wet. For my leave-in conditioner, I'm gonna use this uh, Shea Moisture Bond leave-in conditioner. Just a little bit because y'all told me in my last um, wash and go video I did on Instagram and like TikTok, everybody said I was using way too much product. So I'm gonna use less product. I'm really focusing the leave-in on my natural hair, like up at the top, cause like the weave don't really need it. <laughs> my hair needs it. The curl defining stuff can go all on the ends. The leave-in really just needs to be like on my hair. So look, look at my little curls. My hair is definitely still like a little heat damaged. Like my curls are much tighter than this. This is just kind of what we're left with. It'll get tighter as it dries, but that's even like wet. My hair is usually much more like tight. Next, I'm gonna go in with the smoothing balm from Amika. This keeps my hair from getting frizzy. So I'm just getting a little bit of that and I'm pretty much gonna replace my curl cream with this. and then scrunch. Going in with my gel. This is the Amika Curl Corpse Enhancing Gel. That's what we're gonna use. Just a little bit of this too. And then for oils, I'm gonna wait until the hair's dry to add in my um, oils that I wanna add in. All right y'all, so I'm gonna just repeat this all over my head and hope for the best and hope that my curly cut came out right. I am gonna, um, diffuse it a little bit i like when the curls like group up and look real like ringlety and pretty okay so i'm gonna just finish my whole head like i said bye all right y'all we're making progress uh the hair is like 70 percent dry so it's a little flat i look like a little wet poodle but i think we might be able to wear our hair down i think i'm gonna have to go in and like fix the cut because you see i like i'm gonna have to play around with the cut just a little bit but we're gonna do that when it's fully, fully, fully dry. Dang, I'm, sure I'm sitting on the flow. Hold on, I'm sitting on my floor because I don't want to sit on my bed, but I got a package I want to show y'all really quick while I'm still, I can't do much until my hair is dry for like work and stuff. Um, I'm doing a sponsorship for Shea Moisture. Y'all know I already did part of it, but it's a three part sponsorship. So I'm doing the second part and I'm also doing a sponsorship for Belief. They came out with this new serum. So I'm trying this out today. I'm gonna see how we like it and talk about that. So I usually like all of Belief's products, so I have a feeling I'm gonna really like it, but we'll see. But I got a package from Monday Swim. Y'all, I'm not kidding. I literally ordered this yesterday. Like, I don't mean like two, two days ago. God dog. Okay, I'll have to pick that up in a second. When I tell y'all I literally ordered this yesterday, I think it like, what time did I order this? We're about to find out. Hold on. I'm about to literally tell I'm pretty sure I ordered it yesterday. Try anyways, hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all. Um, I ordered this. I got this email yesterday at 1.41 p.m. It has not... It's literally been 24 hours since I placed the order and it's at my door. 
I did pay for overnight shipping, but I thought the processing time, baby, if you need something last minute for a trip, get it from them. Now, let me tell y'all where this uh, purchase was inspired by. Let me get on TikTok so I can find her page really quick. Um, so I can show it to y'all. Her name is Jaleesa, how she pronounces her name. Sister, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Jaleesa Vaughn. This girl be dressing her ass off. I mean, I love it. And she gets things from like Amazon all the time. It makes it look so, so, so nice. But she posted in this cover up and I was in love. So this is it right here. This is her page. So y'all go follow her. Great fashion inspiration, like love it uh so she posted in this green cover-up and i was like i love that cover-up and i was like monday swim i have some of their swimwear it fits really good so i went to go place the order right because y'all know my birthday coming up yeah by the time y'all see this i'm pretty sure my birthday done passed i want to be a birthday girl i am not a birthday girl y'all know i've said this so many times but this year i feel happy i feel like the world is my oyster and i want to be a birthday girl okay i don't really know how that's gonna work because i leave for dubai on sunday and my hair not done my nails gonna be old by the time my birthday come around so honestly i don't know how much birthday we really gonna give but what the fuck ever i can't find a dress so i was like well i might as well buy a bathing suit because it's hot in dubai i might go to the beach or something so i might as well buy a bathing suit and maybe that can just be my little cute little birthday moment anyways so i went on their website because i was like mm, i really like that cover up y'all know me i wanted it in a little neutral but they didn't have it in any neutrals so i got it in the green because the green is still so cute and i feel like if i have a tan the green will look nice on me so i need to go outside is this not the same oh wait i think hers had sleeves oh damn oh no it's the same thing i'm tripping it's the same it's literally the same so how pretty and i love this color this like it's like a light grass green i love this knit material it's got the little cutout right here i think this is just so cute and it looks amazing on her so i got this in a size small so hopefully it fits good and then i did get a bathing suit to go dang my phone just speakers going hammer blimmer 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 so and then i got a bathing suit to match but i got like a little print bathing suit oh this girl looks so cute together so this is their barbados bottoms in the cypress geo print i got these in a size small hopefully they're not too tight no they look like they're gonna be fine so yeah these i love a good like thin side bikini i feel like they're the most flattering on me although this kind of look like it's gonna be high-waisted and i am not a high-waisted girl y'all know high-waisted i have a short torso so high-waisted isn't the best on me but we'll see whenever i put it on hopefully it fits nice so i got that and then for the bikini top i just got their regular it's like a triangle bikini the hen ha Who goes there it sounds like somebody in the house Hana Lee top and cypress geo and i got this in a size medium because we need coverage on the boobs and yeah so and with string bikinis you know you can tie it to make it tighter so um going up in size really doesn't like affect the waist or anything like that because i can just tie it to be tighter so i really just wanted to make sure that like my boobs would fit in here nicely and they will so medium and top small and bottom so like this underneath the do you see the vision ah, ow i stopped myself with the tag anyways so yeah that came so freaking super duper quick i love that because i literally ordered it yesterday so anywho that's what i got for monday swim y'all so my hair is not dry all the way yet when it does dry i'll show y'all and we'll cut it together in the meantime i'm gonna keep working on these sponsorships that i need to get done and then um we're gonna get dressed to go meet kyra at the rooftop for our little early supper whatever vibe so okay bye all right y'all so my hair is pretty much dry i finished filming most of the stuff i needed to for like my sponsorships i just have to be finished getting ready now Theo, why are you smelling me i snack i showered this morning okay so i'm about to like fluff out my hair because i i think it's it's dry enough for me to like work with it's still a little damp in some places but it's fine a little frizz i like a little frizz it makes it look more natural in my opinion and my natural hair is frizzy so i need this hair to be a little frizzy uh, i'm gonna take the shea moisture oil i was telling y'all about um and i'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my hand while i like shake up the curls and stuff just like two pumps and i'm just gonna start i probably should be standing up to be fair but just shaking it to start because i don't really want to go in and like pick everything apart but once I like stop shaking it and it starts to settle again, it clumps up and then I'll be looking like a little toy poodle and I don't want to look like that. As far as fixing the cut, honestly, there's a little gappy gap right here. Like with my natural hair, I'm pretty sure y'all can see that. 
but I just feel like if you are looking in my head that hard and you're like mm, something's not right there you're just looking too hard and honestly you deserve to figure out if this is fake or not if you're gonna do that type of detective work so I'll let you have it so here it is this side definitely needs some shaping I thought we were good this side needs to be get some cutting going on I can't pinpoint exactly what but I'm gonna go in there with my scissors and just go to town but this is what the hair is looking like this hair is from hot hair I think it's their loose curly that's what they're calling it um, and yeah she literally sourced this texture of hair just for me because I wanted this like ringlety look and I couldn't find it anywhere like everything was either like a deep wave too curly you know and my hair because it's a little heat damage because I feel like my hair is a little curlier than this but um because of the heat damage it's loosened up so it's it ain't even as curly as this hair now some spots so anywho see like right in here something wonky is going on so I'm gonna play around and try to get this cut right and get this stuff edited and sent over um to my management and then we will try to figure out what we're gonna wear to go meet up with Kyra I have an idea of what I want to wear um I just don't know if it'll come together right but I'm feeling adventurous see something see this need to get cut shorter yeah something's just like not right I don't know I don't know child I'm gonna figure it out um well hello there it is several hours later and we are still at home because when the company came to fix my hot tub at four o'clock they just left at 8 26 so didn't get to go get lunch with Kyra like we planned because could not leave my house and now it's 8 30 so today scrapped today is scrapped we'll try again tomorrow today just clearly did not work in my favor at all so um we'll try again tomorrow i think i'm gonna order a pizza cuddle up on the couch and watch some movies yeah good morning everyone it's a new day we're about to go to the dentist i'm packing up my bag i'll show y'all my outfit in just a second real chill nothing crazy this is today's little casual outfit i'm just wearing a tank this is for my outfit online my jeans are zara my bag is zara and then i'm wearing the little jw pay shoes that i showed y'all i got hold on the ones that i showed y'all they're really cute on a wide leg jean like look at the gold oh adorbs i wish that this was like lower so you could see it more um because you can only see it if i like pull my pants up and i just feel like that's the whole point of the shoe but anywho super cute so and i just kind of fluffed my hair out it looks a little wonky i don't know how to preserve a wash and go like look my hair <gasps> my hair my hair anyways just tuck her down um so i'm still learning that but it's okay hopefully people will just think it's my hair and give me a pass um and then i didn't bring any sunglasses from downstairs so this is what we're giving time to go Just got my teeth cleaned. All my makeup is gone. <laughs> now how the hell am I supposed to get to my door? So I know you're probably like, well, how'd you get in here? This car wasn't here, but now that they here, how do I, oh my God, can I go around the back? Lord. Alrighty, babes. Let me get out of here. This car wants my parking spot. Okay. Oh, this spot was so tight. Okay. All right, y'all. So we just finished at the dentist. I look crazy, girl. All my makeup. I shouldn't have even bothered. I didn't realize I was going to get wet at the dentist. So 
got my teeth cleaned okay but then also the whole reason i wanted to go to the dentist y'all i showed y'all if y'all look at that beginning clip where i was showing y'all my teeth from where i had tried to redo invisalign this last time about a year and a half ago two years um i never got the buttons taken off of my teeth when I didn't finish my Invisalign, right? If you're unfamiliar, when you get Invisalign, um, they put little like, little attachments on your teeth to help the trays like grip your, your mouth. And so those were really old and they were like lifting and like food and gunk was getting all underneath them. And it was like brown around them. Like I know y'all seen that when I showed y'all my teeth. And my teeth have been like that for a little, for a couple months now. and it looked dirty because it is dirty it was staining so my buttons the attachments were getting stained y'all know i'm a coffee drinker apparently matcha is even worse how the hell i get out of here where's the exit sign oh exit i see it i see it i see it um so yeah the attachments were getting stained i thought my teeth were getting stained underneath the attachments y'all i have been panicking about this for a long time so finally i came in and i was like please tell me y'all can take these buttons off like just please i don't care what y'all do to me y'all need to clean my teeth just get these attachments off of my teeth because i'm thinking my teeth are staining behind them you get what i'm saying oh i could have went that way too oh no it's this close so um so anyways so they got them off y'all my teeth my pearly whites uh, are back to being pearly whites hold on i gotta pay this um license plate is being checked for what insert validation ticket i don't have a validation ticket this is all that i have please thirty dollars these people, they is out of their rabbit ass mind. That is so insane. Pick a card, any card. $30? Don't get me wrong, I have been here for a while. I've been, how long have I been parked? What time is it? It's almost noon. Not almost noon, it is noon. I got here at nine. So three, ten dollars an hour is really crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Like that's actually so insane. Okay, well anywho y'all. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna head to wave three. Get me my blueberry matcha. Y'all know I really, really am like obsessed with that. Let's go see Miss Joy. Your mobile device is still in the vehicle. I know, I'm gonna leave it. Oh, these parking spots are so tight. Miss Joyce wasn't there today, but Miss Joyce is living her best life on vacation in Costa Rica, girl. So um, it's a good thing I didn't have anything that I needed altered because she's not there. But I did um, pick up, I had a lot of clothes, y'all. And I still have more clothes that they're still working on. Um, so I have a lot of clothes in there. So I'm gonna miss her so much. That's something all of y'all are asking me like, oh, aren't you gonna miss like Taylor, Miss Joyce? Um, yes. Like y'all have to understand, all of my like service providers, like my go-to girls, like my nails, my hair, my seamstress, like we're not, they're not just my nail tech or my hairstylist or my seamstress, like we're friends. 
like we have like them are my girls you know so that's definitely gonna be one of that and leaving my friends like those are the only things that are gonna be like really difficult about this move you know oh i dropped my matcha on my shirt so now um we're gonna go home because i dropped my matcha on my shirt i was like mm, i was in the mood to go shopping and like go spend some money but uh, you look dirty so take your ass home i am gonna get some lunch on the way home there's a kava right here but i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't know if i'm in the mood for kava but i'm also kind of like well what else am i gonna eat that's like relatively healthy you know and to be honest i don't really have an appetite it's the matcha because i just drink that but we're gonna go to kava i'm gonna take y'all in and so y'all can see what i order you tell me what is your kava order what do you order from kava i need to know because I just be putting a bunch of random things and like it'd be good but i know for a fact i'm not doing it right like i know for a fact it could be better you know you know i can't, I can't wait, wait to get to school each day so what are you gonna do all i do is think of you need a motherfucker house we looking okay Play. 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 so why can't you be daddy but no man no I'm taking the spot lady <laughs> like are you crazy Jesus Christ I've never seen like I thought it was obvious when I was back into the spot okay Silly, silly duck goose. All right, let's get in here and get some kava. Kava. I'll let y'all hear my order and you tell me what you think. Hi, how are you? Can I have both saffron rice cakes? Yes. Can I do crazy feta? And I think that'll do. Actually, is this Teresa? Can I get that too, please? Hi, how are you? Good. Can I do the brain slam? trying to be chipotle with them little baby scoops y'all my bowl is literally like this like i ain't never seen nothing like that in my life uh, i said you know what clearly i'm just not meant to eat that's fine i'm just not meant to eat it's okay i just won't eat i'm okay with that so but i did get some pita chips i'm gonna eat one of them right now these are fire Who the go? Who the go? Who you bitches really rooting for? Like, well, of course not. They don't wanna have that talk cause it's a sore spot. Look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Hey, y'all. It's some time later. Um, I edited all my little short form stuff that I needed to get edited. My TikToks, my Instagrams, my Reels, my stories. Yeah. So it's way later in the day. But all this stuff came for my new camera setup. Not for vlogging. Um, my vlog camera setup is always linked down below in the description bar. Um, but just in case you need me to hear it, you need to hear it out of my mouth. I use the Sony ZV-E10 with a... I think it's a 30 millimeter lens. It's all linked down below on my Amazon. But I broke my sit-down camera. So I needed to get a new like sit down DSLR camera. You can definitely use this camera for sit down videos. Um, I just personally don't like it for sit down videos. Major shout out to Taylor, Taylor Lloyd. If you guys don't follow her, you should. She is gonna get you right on all things tech. And I mean, the girl just so smart. Just love her. And she really helped me out. She recommended all of these products to me. I bought everything. It will all be linked down below. So let's get into it. So my new camera for sit down videos is the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. I was using a Canon 80D that I have had for years. And I mean, to be really honest, I really like the quality of my videos of my sit down videos. The lighting would be a little weird, but that wasn't really the camera. That was more so like me, but it broke. So here we are. So um, yeah, I ordered this on Amazon. This was a very 
expensive camera. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, so battery, battery charger, and then we've got a Z bad boy on the inside. Let's see. Okay, it's not that big. It's a little bit bigger than my ADD, but not gigantic. This is the body only because I bought a separate lens, which I will show y'all in just a second, but this is what it looks like. Boom, then I got the lens. This is a 35 millimeter lens. I already use a 35 millimeter lens with my current camera. So I knew for a fact that I wanted a 35 millimeter lens on this camera. Uh, this gives you a really good aperture of 1.8. Um, to give reference, the aperture that you guys are seeing currently is at a 1.4. So you see how blurry the background is and how focused you are here? That's aperture. So um, 1.8, here I'll change it so you guys can see what that looks like. Oh. Aperture is also about how much light is let into the camera. The um, lower the aperture, the brighter everything will look. The higher the aperture, the darker. So this is at 1.8. So here you go, you see, still very, very hyper focused. Like I'm standing right behind the lens. You see that? So that's what aperture is. So I know that when it comes to sit down videos, I like a pretty good aperture. I like my aperture to be nice and low. It gives that really nice feel. Um, so, and I'm familiar with a 35 millimeter lens. So I just went ahead and got this as well. Uh, it gives you that nice aperture without the camera having to be super far away. If you get a 50 millimeter lens, which is even better with that like super blurry type of vibe, but your camera, it's a non-zooming lens. So your camera has to be really far away from you because it's super cropped. So just a heads up on that. Always keep my aperture. I shoot in aperture priority mode um, and I keep my aperture at the lowest. Okay, so that's the lens that I got. Then some of the accessories that we got to go along with the camera, because I could have stopped there, but like I said, Taylor just hooked me up with all the info, girl. I think this is the dummy battery. Let me see. Yes, okay. So what this is, is what's called a dummy battery. I think every content creator, especially if you do long sit down videos, you need this. I didn't even know this existed until Taylor put me on. So this is a dummy battery. It basically plugs in like a regular battery, but you plug it into the wall. So your camera is running from the wall. Like you're never charging a battery. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a dummy battery. So smart. It's like a power source for your camera. How insane is that? I didn't even know that existed. This is what I'm talking about. This is why, like people, like, you know, everyone is good at whatever they do, but man, I just have a special place in my heart for people who are good at things that I'm not good at. Because wow, how'd you get so good at that? So anyways, Taylor put me on to this. Taylor put me on all of this. Out of 10 will recommend for my sit down girlies. If you're just a vlog girly, that's not gonna do you no good because how are you gonna vlog with your camera plugged in the wall? All right, now the next thing I'm really excited about is a monitor. So for me, I've always used Cam Ranger to see myself on my iPad whenever I film, but I can't lie, it's mad annoying. The app is glitchy and it lags. This, I finally invested in a monitor. So this is a 22 inch computer monitor screen. This is it, literally just a computer screen. Not heavy at all, but yeah. Not too big, but big enough to where like, you'll really see yourself. Then she sent me this stand so that it becomes a rolling monitor. And that's this right here. It's a rolling TV stand. You see this? So she has a video on her channel on how to hook this up. So I'm definitely gonna be tuning into that. I will link all of her information down below if you're just needing some assistance on a good camera setup. So yeah, I got this so that I can put that monitor on it so then while I'm filming and I can move it around so it's mo mobile, obviously. Um, and I know you're like, girl, ain't you moving? Why are you ordering all this stuff? Look, yeah, I'm moving. You, the content still gotta go. And then obviously I got an HDMI cord and I got a really, a really long one. I got a 10 footer because I don't know how far this is gonna have to be for me or from the camera, so I just wanted everything to be smooth. So that's everything that I got for my new and improved, updated, you know, filming setup, and I'm really excited. The next sit down video that I'm filming is a fragrance video, it's been so long. Y'all have been asking, 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 and I have really like calmed down with my fragrances. I've really narrowed it down, and I just wear like a good couple 
Okay, by a good couple, I still mean probably more than the average person, but way less than probably the average influencer. Cause we be having a lot of fragrances. <laughs> I wanna start packing and cleaning up. We haven't done that in this video. So I think I'm gonna start with my pantry. There's so much crap in there that needs to go, y'all. Just so much stuff, but I'm dreading it. Did I tell y'all I was going for a run? I don't even know if I told y'all. Well, I went for a run. I can't remember if I told y'all or not. I went for a run, came back, showered, put some sweats on. You know what I hate? Having to leave my house after I've taken my night shower. But I don't have any food and I really want some um, pasta salad. So I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and scour for some food. So let's go. Yes, yeah, so like I kinda just want like a pasta salad. Not like hot food, just like a little pasta, but a cold pasta. Damn, this where I usually be at is fucking empty. Am I supposed to eat now? <sighs> and Trader Joe's is closed already because it's after nine. Why they ain't have no food out? I think that's crazy. I know not everybody wanted pasta salad when I wanted pasta salad. I just noticed that's Even though your words say thank you. I just know that's not what's happening. I did get a bottle of wine though. I said, oh now I'm stressed out. I'm just kidding. I was gonna get wine the whole time. Um I guess I gotta eat fast food. That's crazy. Crazy. I kind of really want to go to um, Krispy Kreme and get some donuts. Oh, I was supposed to be being like healthy. Granted, pasta salad is not healthy because it has so much oil and pasta, but you know, it don't feel as like heavy when you're eating it, you know? Dang, maybe I can just, I guess I'll just get a salad from Chick-fil-A. I didn't want a regular salad. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, a salad do sound real good. And then I can get some donuts from, I can get some donuts from Krispy Kreme. Uh, I feel like I should be able to sue Whole Foods for not having what I wanted. So when I pulled in, you know how Chick-fil-A be having two lanes and the people be outside taking your order. So when I pulled up, the guy's like, go that way. But it's nobody in his lane. So I'm like, well, then why are you outside? Because like, what would have happened if I pulled up? I should have acted like I didn't see him and just went in there. See? And look, here come this person. What? He gonna take that order? Oh, hell no. Why would you tell me to come over here? What? Why would you tell me to come over here? There's four cars in front of me. There's no one. This person just pulled right into his lane. Why he told me to? I'm gonna ask him too. You not taking orders? My line was backed up, so you can wait. Oh, okay. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Can I get um, finger? Aaliyah. What kind of can I get a Cobb salad, please? Absolutely. With avocado ranch. Gotcha. And I think that's all I want. Yeah, that'll be it. So this is cop salad with avocado ranch. It's gonna be ten thirty three. Okay, 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 okay. He said his line was backed up. His line was not backed up. <laughs> I just said okay because I was like, I mean, I guess it is a little more backed up. It's two cars over there. Two more cars over there. Okay, 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 okay. My bad. My bad. Oh, not me. No. Is it me? Oh. Sorry. Uh, Aaliyah. Thank you. Have a good night. This one like is open. Is my person? No, that's it. Okay. okay. My window wouldn't roll down. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all see a standing right there? He was like, um, you gonna keep riding right next to me, girl? Like, think about this. Man, people do some funny stuff over here, boy. I tell you what. This says no left turn. But you know what I'm gonna do? A left turn. Uh, I wish the hot now sign was on. <laughs> Why am I yelling? 
<laughs> I sound like my under so when I said that. I shouldn't get a whole dozen. What time they close? Chris gonna be open late. Why I look close? They close? Nah, they not close. Are they close? Cause how long does it take to order donuts? What? I don't know what's going on. Hey, good, how are you? Is that a job? Okay. What are you for? Hi, can I get a three pack of original glaze, please? I don't know what the fuck. Do y'all hear? So, <laughs> Atlanta is so funny. Atlanta is so funny. So, y'all see, I'm in a drive through. I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn, ain't nobody coming, ain't nobody saying nothing, right? So, there's people like out in the back, like, you know, like throwing boxes away because they're gonna close in 30 minutes. So, you know, they're doing their clothes stuff. Why they tell them, hey, how you doing? I mean, I'm fine, but like, can you tell them there's somebody at the drive through? <laughs> like, what? I don't know, child. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a Karen. Am I a Karen? Maybe. I'm, I just, I just. Usually, like when you pull up at a drive-thru, if they're not going to talk to you real quick, they'll be like, hold on one second. Oh, just one, just one minute. Sitting in silence. I'm confused. I don't understand. I don't understand. Where the f oh, girl, I was going to say, where is my card? I don't understand. I don't understand. There you go. Thank you. You too. We've arrived back. I'm taking this hat off. Don't judge me, y'all, because I'm about to look crazy. Okay? Because my hair looks crazy. Reminds me when I used to be running around in the Bronx. This is Prisoner. This is their red blend. Our three Krispy Kreme donuts, which, to be quite frank, I will probably eat all three tonight. That's why I only got three, because I know if I got a dozen, I would probably eat six. And I have no business doing that. So. And then we have our delicious hog salad. I feel like they put all the chicken they had left in here. This, this salad is patting the house down. I'm not mad at it. Cobb salad. Um, I am an iced red wine girl. I know that irritates the hell out of the wannabe Somali A's in the building. But you can drink your wine warm and I will have mine iced and watered the hell down from my eyes. Peace, folks. Voila, a beautiful red wine glass. Um, this is by Mikasa. Mikasa, my grandma got me these for like Christmas or something. Mm. I should have, um, I have an aerator. It's not that serious, I do not care that much. Okay, I'm gonna eat my salad, find a movie or something to watch. Uh, I thought we were gonna go through my clothes upstairs, but to be honest, we'll do that tomorrow after my Botox appointment because I'm not gonna be doing anything tomorrow. I'm supposed to be meeting up with Kyra. We'll see what we do, but other than that, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. So I'm gonna be in the house. So I'm gonna enjoy my evening. And yeah. Hello, everybody. Oh, y'all can't see me. 
oh hold on hi y'all happy saturday it is 3 p.m in the afternoon and we are about to go do a couple errands we're gonna meet up with kyra get some lunch catch the girl up on the tee um and i'm wearing pretty much the exact same thing that i wore to the dentist the other day except i put on a baggy shirt with it instead and i like like a looser not a baggy but like a regular t-shirt instead of a fitted one i like this so much better same shoes same bag i just like this way much better and i feel i'm like comfortable so let's go wow i missed you years. what the fuck did you hey babe hi pretty hey how babe. are you good you look cute thank you i love the I hair something on oh no you look cute thank you you look Very cute cash. i can't believe yeah. you're moving <laughs> I know it's sick shit. Say hey to everybody. They haven't seen you. Hey y'all, we're about to go run errands. We need to eat first, bitch. I'm starving. Okay. Are you hungry? Shut up. You are so We slow. we oh came to plan to y'all because yeah, I'm hungry. Kyra's being a skinny girl. She just got a little latte. Please. And so I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna. No, eat. the last time we linked up, y'all, I was the only one that ate. That's true. But you didn't even really eat. You drank. And I had a croissant. I had a little piece of the croissant. No, you didn't. Oh, you're right. I didn't. Yeah. You're like, Damn. No. I really didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't. I thought I cheated. Hey. My girls have me watching you guys. Oh, and I, I feel like I know you. Oh. Oh. What? Louisiana? My family's from the room up here. So my girls have me watching you both. And I, I feel like I know you all. You got to say hey to the blog. Hey, guys. <laughs> I love Kyra and Aaliyah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Wait, what's happening? What's, what event is y'all doing? Oh, okay, at uh, Southern Gentleman. How was it? Oh, okay, okay. I've never been there before. They love you guys. I'm so glad. You don't want to watch my daughter. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Gabby, get over there. We just watched your vlog this morning. Wait, are y'all twins? No, they're not oh, they look alike. They love you so much. Sister, that's so Of course. Take me and Aaliyah fishing, my sister. Wait, let me get this for her. Crazy. Crazy. Yep. Yeah. You see it, girl? Yeah. That's why you see it, boo. Thank you. Perfect. You want to take one for this? She's taking it. I just got to take one to the one I do I have seen her like three times I just never seen her. Nice to meet you. I'm Judy. These are my daughters and they watch you guys all the time. They have me watching. This is their father. I said, who is this thing? Oh yeah, yeah, do a family picture. Oh, family you want to get in it? I'm like, uh -uh. I'm oh, okay. What? Damn. Damn. No. Me and Kirk was just get in. Like you going? I love it. So cute. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hello. Can they get back to the real place? No, I'm sorry. Sorry. Wait. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that's probably, yeah. All right, this little Caesar salad. Kyra's gonna have a bite now. This little um, hibiscus tea is so fire. Yeah. Hi, my darlings. We are back home. As y'all can see, me and, oh, the camera is so crooked. Oh my God. Me and Kyra had a time. We were together from like three o'clock until like 7.30. <laughs> Lunch, and then we went to tar one to three different targets marshall's girl we was all over the place um but it was a really good time catching up i haven't seen kyra in literally forever so we had a lot to catch up on girl and then the girl was outside we literally met so many of y'all so hey and thanks for watching and thanks for your support so many of y'all while we was out so um it's a little bit later i have a vlog that i need to edit that has to go up tomorrow um i ordered a pizza because i don't know girl i was sitting here I was like damn i really want a pizza like i really want a pizza so i'm ordering a pizza and what else what else is going on that's pretty much it y'all i'm just kind of chilling um tomorrow is sunday so that'll be the final day of this vlog um we need to pack 
I have way more packing I need to do. I'm really tripping on the packing thing. It's just, it's really difficult because I don't have the place in Dubai. I mean, I don't have a place secured yet in New York. So I've been looking at more and more places. I'm about to look at some more now and try to set up some viewings, some virtual viewings and just all of that jazz because I just, I'm not going to New York anytime soon. So, but I am headed back to Dubai. So the next vlog you guys see will be back in Zubi. The weather's getting hot. My birthday is next week. I don't know if I'm doing anything. Will the next vlog be on my birthday? I don't know how I'm gonna do that vlog. I'm trying to do better about just like uh, the timing and scheduling with everything. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, and yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog or vlog, whatever's going on with this. It's a long vlog. Um, we are headed out and I will, I'm about to take my vitamins. <laughs> oh, I need to put these dishes in the dishwasher before I go. Ooh, okay. We're headed out, I'm about to call my Uber, catch this flight. I'm only gonna be there for like two weeks this time, not too long, uh, cause I need to come back and obviously figure out my New York situation, so. <laughs> See ya. Fresh skin, my little uh, airport fit, this is from Honor Active. Love, I'll link it down below. And yeah, bye.